seen before personally, I don't think. Uh, which is, you know, it, it's always fun. Whenever we get to see something new, when we get to learn a little bit more about the game live in front of you for your viewing pleasure. Oh, look at that top lane. All five top. We, I thought we were about to have a brouhaha instantly off the top at level one, but that looks like it's not will not come to fruition. I like the Kindred pick. I'm always excited about a Kindred. You know, the invincibility, but not actually having a lot of HP just leads to these really nail-biting moments. Yeah, I, I do. I'm a fan of that as well. But looking on the side of Howard, Howard typically probably is going to have to be the favorite here. They've won multiple times uh, throughout the little pop-ups. So I'm looking to see big things from them this game. Yeah, that'd be nice. I will say that Samir skin is absolutely divine. Oh, yeah, that is, that is parking off. As, as uh, that skin is the Space Galaxy, it's out of this world. I will see myself out after that pun. Now that Diana jungle is going to be a lot of fun. It's yeah. going to be able to roam around, get those alts in, get those dashes in. It's going to be able to gank up faster than that Kindred would. Now, the one thing we need to watch out, the Kindred win her marks. Let's see who she's actually going to end up marking first and possibly taking down. Also, the one thing I will say about this top lane matchup, the one thing you have to remember, Gangplank does have those special oranges, so if Mordekaiser decides to alt the Gangplank, the Gangplank just has to get a little bit of vitamin C, and he's going to be out of that alt instantly. So this is going to be an interesting matchup for the Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser is going to definitely need to wait to see if his oranges is down and on cooldown before he decides to alt that Gangplank. And the Syndra, I'm going to be getting a little bit of free damage there on the Lucian. Um, I, yeah, that feels like an interesting mid lane. I feel like, you know, both quite squishy, both with decent damage as well, could be quite volatile. This bot lane, it really does feel like Samira and Rel have the initiative. Um, uh, the range advantage, a couple of other bits and pieces as well going in their favor. Yeah. As you were talking about the mid lane, um, the one thing you have to look at is if that Syndra is able to land that stun onto that Lucian, we're going to see a dead Lucian in the mid lane. She has a lot more burst potential than that Lucian will early. That Lucian is going to need to use his dash properly because if that dash is on CD, it literally opens him up to a big stun by that Syndra. Already? Yeah, oh, gonna snare. collect the crab, the Senna, looking for a little bit of damage here, and it looks like they will get it. Scared away, slightly, uh, of the Samira in the realm. This Diana did threaten something, though. Oh, that's gonna be a nice stun onto the Scion. Absolutely, and the Samira now gets to put a good few autos in. I will say this, if you look at the bot lane matchup, it's actually not a Scion support. It looks like it's being more of a Sinna support down there in the bot lane. And more of a Scion ADC. Looks like we're just gonna just sit here with the typical amount of farm. Not a lot of early action early on in this game. We're just gonna be farming it out. But we are gonna see waves are gonna be pushed, like the top tower. Gangplanks pushed under tower and everyone's just farming standard. But if you take a look at that Diana in the bot side, the Diana is counter jungling, looking for a flank. The Diana's gonna be right behind them. It's gonna be able to dash in, get the stun. Oh, that Diana's got super low, the Samir. Yeah, the Diana went in there, but didn't feel like they got a lot done. And 
Well, now the turnaround potentially is there. The Mordekaiser's in the bot lane. Oh, the Senna is completely low. The Scion is one shot. The Samir, the Flash, the Scion. Oh, like the first blood. Lucian's we'll go the way of the Lucian. Blood. This Rowl is not going to be logged for this world. A double kill for the Lucian. That Mordekaiser is going to definitely need to back off there. Well, that's an excellent teleport use on the side of Lucian. Pick up that double kill. They're going to pick up that dragon. And they are sitting pretty right now. There we go, dragon. It's going to be taken an advantage in every way. Taken now by our red side. Yeah, this is gonna. That Lucia is gonna be now having a fun time with those two kills up. He's gonna have that extra damage. He already has his pickaxe here at six minutes. Double long sword to Doran's blade. He's gonna be having a good time there in the mid lane. Now, if I'm the side of Howard right now, I would possibly look at getting a uh, gang in onto that Lucian, get a little bit of extra pressure on him to not have him press his advantage. Because right now, Cardinal is sitting kind of pretty. Yeah, uh, looking confident now and, and just poised. Uh, much less pressure on them, I feel, than on the opposing team. As if. You know, they just want to farm Equilibrium, then it's happy days. Yeah, it's a fun time right now if I'm Lucian right now. But look, it looks like Howard's trying to possibly bait bot lane here. They're both sitting in the bush. Nope. They're just going to go back out and continue their farming. Looks like we're just going to just have some standard farming right now. Taking a look at it, like, we do see the advantage in the farm for that Syndra, but those two kills from Lucian is absolutely what's keeping him with the extra damage in the mid lane. Yeah, and it, it's going to be hard to overcome that with any number of uh, creep blast hits, really. As Lucian will push in and try to get some damage done onto the Syndra. Buffed it away, though, and our little... Well, it's almost like a little interlude of farming where nothing much is happening continues. The Samira standing there menacingly. Yeah, but look at that. The Kindred is waiting for the push up. It's the fake this, AFK uh, strat. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay, there you go. The Kindred's gonna back. Wasted a little bit of time there. Oh, nope. Cancel the back. Oh, the flash by the Rel is gonna get the stun in. No. There's the Kindred there. <laughs> the Samir is going to be able to pick up the kill onto the Senna. It's not much that Senna could possibly do. Ooh, and now we have a pause. Yeah, textbook there. In the bottom lane. And there we have a little bit of a pause. Uh, I'm sure we'll be finding out why in just a moment. But yeah, a really, really nice play. The Kindred shows up, but Samira baits him beautifully. They get the initiation. The damage is there. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, it looks like we have possibly a bug. Uh, it looks like Kindred on the minimap was showing up top lane and not bottom. That seems like it is a known issue that's been going on in custom games. It's not a lot we could do, but it looks like no one DC'd, and it looked like they are possibly getting their ready checks in soon. But that was an excellent gank. A little long to wait for that Kindred. But it results in the kill, so we say that's always worth. We certainly do. Now, hopefully, we can get on with the game without too many hindrances. As we are back on the rift. It looks like Cyan did use his uh, exhaust there. But Cyan's able to escape with his life. But that's a, a like I said, that was a good gang by that Kindred there. Bug enabled or not. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta take those. Alright? Gotta take those. It's 
So let's talk a little bit about this gangplank. Um, this is, you know, a, a very, very old school top laner in the sense that he has been played top and been played a lot over the years, but isn't quite of that same mold of being the big bruiser that walks you down. A little bit more technical, a little bit more finesse required. What's Gangplank going to be bringing to the team fights when we get to that phase he's, of the game? He's going to be able to bring that slow like we just saw in the mid lane to finish getting up that Syndra kill. Yeah, the one thing I will say, Gangplank is going to be able to disrupt a lot of things. If they put on the CC for him, they're gonna he's going to pop an orange and be fine. But look at that, in the bot lane right now, the Rel is going to get the stun onto the Scion. The Samir is going to get stunned in place. Looks like they're going to disengage. But as I was saying, like the Gangplank is going to provide that global alt. He's going to be able to get rid of some of the CC. He's going to actually be able to, at some point, if he does get started and rolling, one-shotting a lot of these uh, low health uh carries on their team those crits are going to come out those barrel gunpowder barrels deal absolute massive damage if you get stuck in one of them so he's there to basically be another like massive damager right and well that's the most entertaining sort of champion yeah it's a fun champion always to see not a fun champion to lane against if you cannot get rid of his gunpowder barrels. Well, look at the slow one to the Samir. Yeah, a little bit dicey here. Going to take some damage, but there isn't really that opportunity to push in. Oh, the will Samir be has the to burn her flash. Oh. Going to get stunned into place. Oh, the Samir ult's going to get massive damage. Oh it's my huge. goodness. But the Scion passive, he's going to turn into a zombie. Punch her half to death. The Lucian's going to come in, possibly looking to clean up the kill on the Rel there. He's going to ult. The Rel's not going to be able to escape. And that's going to be another kill over to the Lucian, who is now 4 and 0. Oh. The scariest champion on the Rift right now could be doing huge bits here, as we'd say in the UK. Dragon about to be taken by the Diana and the Lucian. And. Well, I think we have a game on our hands. This is very back and forth. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Look at the... Excuse me. The Lucian is going to have Gale Force down. He's going to be able to get on some of the low health targets. And then he's going to have a fun time right now. They need to look, if I'm Howard, look to possibly shut down that Lucian. Because if that Lucian keeps getting bigger and bigger, he's going to do massive damage. Yeah, and that's going to be something that's just really hard to stop over time. Uh, as, because, you know, Lucian's got a very complete kit, I feel like, in the sense that he's got evasion. He's got initiation to some degree with his dash. He's got damage. He's got a bit of a slow as well. And so it's not as simple as, like, just catch him out of position. You know? it's, it, it's quite difficult to pin that character down, so he's always going to be able to get value. Yeah, that Lucian is going to be able to get the value. Okay, the Rift Herald's going to come out from the side of Howard here in the mid lane. Looks like it's going to be able to execute the rest of that tower there without a problem. Yep, and they're going to get that first tower gold, the extra tower platings before the tower could have went down. And they're sitting with that extra gold. If I'm Howard right now, I'm sitting there like a little bit hesitant. I'm only at a 700 gold lead, and they're not winning these team fights. Yeah, they're really not. Uh, and, and, you know, it's going to become more of an issue as time goes on. Mord onto the GP top. Going to clear out the barrel and, yeah, I got a slightly beneficial trade here. Yeah, that passive's going to come out. Gangplank's not going to stand in it. He's going to be able to walk away and not take that extra damage. But look at the side. Oh, the Scion's going to be able to bust it out. Ooh. The Rouse going to be able to dash away. The look at the exhaust onto the Samir. Samir's going to be able to get rid of some of it. He oh, the Samir all is going to come out and deal massive damage. Once to again. But look at the Gangplank all. It's slowing oh. them, chunking them down. The Mordekai's is going to come get the kill. Oh, that's a big double kill by the Mord. The Mord has his passive completely up. But that Scion extra but did the Lucian. not a lot. Oh but my it's... goodness, the Lucian's going to be able to walk away. Three down in the bot lane, a two for two trade. But it's still all about this Lucian, as he is still 4-0, still with 400 gold bounty over his head. The Scion gets a double there, but 
I mean, you know, it's it's not bad. No, the mod, sorry, got the double. Correct. The like, got yeah, the double. yeah, the mod got the double. Um, so I was gonna say it's not great that the scion gets the gold, but actually the mod having it's pretty nice. Yeah, the scion is the bot lane carry down there. So having the gold on the scion just makes scion extra tanky. Because there's not a lot of target, like, only person that can really take down that Scion from tank is that Samir. But looking towards that, it was just an excellent team fight all around from both sides. Now, like, Gangplank was still top lane. He was able to get some of that top lane uh, turret damage down and is still able to walk away with his life. So now we need to look at it. We are at 15 minutes. Dragon's going to be up in about 2 to 3 minutes. Rift Herald's going to be back up in about 2 minutes. And whether or not we're going to see fights for either one. Diana up top. Getting a little bit of farm. The Samira increasing her lead over that Sion in the bot lane when it comes to farm. Almost doubling, in fact. Yeah, and, and look on the side of Cardinal. They still have that ward down in the Dragon Pit that they have not cleared out on the side of Howard, so they're still going to have the vision there for just a little bit longer. Like I said, Dragon should be coming up relatively soon. That will be our next focus, I think. I, I mean, we, we could have a fight before then, but I don't think either team really has the initiative. There's no reason to go looking for something right now. Um, and so it could well be a wait until that dragon before we see some real action. Oh, look at that. We're seeing the transition for Howard down there into the bot lane bot side. Dragon is about 45 seconds away from coming up. And then look at look at Kendra. Kendra did mark that Lucian to take down to get her next mark. So she's going to be looking to dive straight onto that Lucian. Oh, here comes the Scion. All Scion's not able to get onto anybody, but he's unable to slow the rel the gangplank alt's gonna come out the rel's gonna try to stun them back the rel's gonna flash out the rel is burning but the rel's gonna get taken down the samira alt's gonna deal massive damage she's gonna oh. pick up a double and then here comes the lucian alt right there lucian's gonna get stunned back on the samir Ooh, the mordekaiser's there it's gonna take the, the lucian into the shadow oh, this lucian oh the so lucian brave. is just trying to kite Oh, but not enough for Mordecai's that the Shadow Realm proved too deadly. And we're looking at an ace for the side of Howard. Oh, my. And that should be the dragon, right? Uh, it should be the dragon, but it looks like they are going to be just pushing for this tower. Kendra's going to go grab another mark inside of uh, Cardinal's jungle. Excuse me. But looks like the dragon is going to get started by the Syndra. The Kindred's going to come in and finish that dragon out with them. Okay. Bottom tower could well be falling. The dragon does indeed. GP going in on the mortar. A little bit of free damage, but I think the mortar's going back home anyway. Mordekaiser is going to hit that vision. No, see, there's no wards there. And lo they're looking to reset here. Now, Rift Herald is going to be up for the next about minute and 30 seconds. So we may be looking to see if Cardinal's actually going to try to transition and grab that real quick before he does go down. They do have, both teams do have vision in the river area, but none straight directly into the pit. Yeah. Well, look at, look, we at, have... look at the farm differential in the bot lane. One and three Scion, four and three Samir, 165 farm to 97. Yeah, it's huge. It's huge. Absolutely massive farm differential. But as and as I said it, Howard looking like they are going to be trying to start that Rift Herald down there. 
the Syndra is going to get caught inside of that Scion stun. It's going to be able to flash away. The Scion is going to lose his ult. They're going to be able to burn down Rift Herald without any losses there. And everyone's just able to walk away. It literally costs a flash for the side of Howard for them to secure that Rift Herald. Yeah, and, and once again, we have, I mean, it, like, not a massive lead here, but a boon nonetheless for Howard. And, and they are now tentatively in the lead here by a couple of K, by that objective. This is, I mean, compared to where we were in our previous game, at 22 minutes, the Nexus was gone. Now, we're 20 minutes in, there's barely anything to separate them. Uh, uh, there's a decent amount of farm on that Samira, of course. The Mord's having a really good game, but this could go either way right now, and that Lucian's still the X Factor. And the one thing we also like to talk about was ODU's 20-minute plot armor. There's no plot armor going on here right now. 20 minutes, and this is a toss-up game right here. Whether or not whoever has the next best team fight will be taking control of this game here. Absolutely. But taking a look there, there's no wards in the area of Baron Pit right now. It looks like we're just going to see Marks get taken by Kindred. And we're just going to see a little bit of a reset for both sides. Grab a little bit extra farm, grab some damage here. We have Dragon coming up in about three minutes. Hmm. And Baron is currently up right now. I don't expect to see any fights in the next few minutes. Just a lot of standard farming. Yeah, I think you're probably right. Now, just looking at the builds, the Kindred has the Kraken Slayer. We're looking at the Kindred trying to basically burn down that Scion as fast as possible. We might be seeing a Lord Dominic's coming out here soon by the Samir, possibly, to burn down the tankiness of the Scion. There's mm. not really a massive tank on the side of Howard besides that Mordekaiser who can absorb a lot of that damage. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I think that their lineup, I mean, maybe I'm wrong here, but I think their lineup slightly easier to execute with the, than the, the, um, the Catholic, where, you know, Lucian, not super straightforward, in terms of how you want to take the fight the gp doesn't offer that tankiness like the mord does and the scion kind of being a little bit of a weird bot lane carry as well um it seems a little bit more unorthodox and as such a little bit harder for me to see how they go about executing here but absolutely has the potential in it as we do look towards this bot lane dragon up in a minute then 30 seconds sorry yeah, this dragon fight is going to be absolutely massive. This is going to be the turning tide of the game. We do see two dragons to one right now. We may be seeing someone on Soul Point. Oh, that's massive damage onto the Diana. The ult's going to have to be popped by the Kindred. The Samir ult's going to come through. Lucian's going to get one already. And there it comes the Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser has the extra damage. Oh, no. It's going to take Diana straight to the Shadow Realm. But look at that Realm. The Realm's going to be able to come in, help get that stun. But the Mordekaiser has a double. Oh, dear. And the Samira able to take down the Lucian. That slow but steady DPS from the Lucian looks like it was doing wonders. But it's the bursty and very punchy damage that comes out from Howard to take that team fight in pretty emphatic fashion it was a three for one and they get the dragon as well and the game begins for the first time to slip really in the favor of one team rather than the other yeah correct this game is looking like it's favoring towards howard right now they have now amassed a 3k gold lead they were able to pick up some kills onto their big targets they got the kills onto the Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser is now 5-1 and one with all that damage. That Shuttle Realm has absolutely been pertinent to cut off escaping targets. The Mordekaiser is basically able to execute anyone on the Rift right now. So we need to look and see if we're going to see any QSSs coming out from the side of uh, Cardinal here. Well. Wow. Uh, quite a big call to make the itemization because of course it is um 
it's always a compromise. You know, you want to be building pure damage in your greedy little game of mind, but sometimes yeah, so you got to compromise. Yeah, sometimes you need those situational items. The QSS will help save from that Mordekaiser all help save from that Syndra stun. So a lot of their squishy targets need to possibly be looking to make it like the Lucian. The Lucian has the extra gold, and I might sacrifice a little bit of damage onto that Lucian for a QSS. Same thing with that Diana. Diana is able to get to the back line, get some of the major targets. If Mordekaiser is able to alt that Diana, it basically just removes them from the fight, and that QSS will just bring them back instantly. Mm. Okay, Baron is up, and they're going to begin to take it. Yeah, they finally have a ward down there inside of Baron, but it looks like it's going to be a little too late. The center's looking to possibly take the steal. Oh, he's going to get the stun on him. Okay, almost a steal from the center there with the alt, but it looks like they're going to be easily take the dragon there. And that is quite the advantage now. 4.6k up, a Baron buff on all five members. Wonderful stuff for Howard. Still, though, I think that, you know, I look at the lineup uh, of our red side and I'm going, you know what? They've still got a chance here. If the Lucian is able to peel well enough, if the GP can land all the AoE, if this Kindred, you know, maybe gets caught without their invincibility, there's all sorts of things that could go on here. So I'm not calling this game just yet. This is absolutely close enough for it to be competitive. Dragon up in two and a half. Oh, look at the Diana. Diana's going to get taken low. She's in the Shadow Realm right now with the Mordekaiser. She's one hit right now. Oh, the Mordekaiser's going to be able to take her down. Just about... And that is, well, that, that's put the kibosh in any team fight that Red may have wanted. Yeah, they're going to have to reset here. They're not going to want to take this 4v5. Maybe look to possibly get that knockup is going to get onto the Mordekaiser. But that's about all. Oh, the big stun from the Syndra is going to lock the Scion into place. The Scion's just going to eat all of the passive from the Mordekaiser. The Scion's taken down with the passive of Scion. He's looking to punch someone to death. Oh, that's a massive kill into the Lucian from the Syndra. This might be an inhibitor tower here for Howard. Yeah, a, a couple of beautiful combos from the Syndra, and that's all it takes to turn this around. Like I was saying, I mean, Sion is tanky, but it's really the only source of HP uh, on, on that team. And, you know, it does become a little bit of an issue if you have four glass cannons. Yeah, where Mordekaiser is able to live through all that deal, because, <laughs> kill glass cannons. Look at the damage from the Mordekaiser. He's even gonna just able to walk out, pop his shield. He was taking the tower shots. They're gonna take that tower down, but they're gonna trade the Rel's life for that tower. The Scion's alt, alt's gonna come through, not hit anyone. He's gonna get stunned back by the Syndra. And he's gonna be able to walk away, it looks like. And the Samir down there is just gonna avoid the stun from Senna, but look at the Just damage the onto the Lucian. Oh. Here comes the Diana save today. There's no... And Kendra's going to be able to take down the Diana. This might be a triple kill from the Kendra here. It really could be that damage. It's so, so, so much. The GP will get the trade, but it's an inhibitor going down at the same Two time. Two inhibitors That's down. Mid. That's top. That is disastrous. Oh, the massive now, damage onto the, the Scion. Up. The Scion's going to get taken down instantly. And this is looking like it possibly is the game here. The Scion is down. His passive is going to get taken down. The Mordekaiser passive is going to get popped. It's literally only the Senna and the Gangplank here. But looks like they are going to back off. Possibly looking to get that Tier 2 in that bot lane. But there's two lanes of Super Minions coming into base. This is looking dire for the side of Carnal right now. It really, really is. Uh, what are they going to do from here? Almost 10k down. And, and no no sign of it slowing anytime soon. Dragons up. Turret can be taken first. Look. Uh, Howard, they can do no wrong at this point. Yeah, this is just all coming up them right now. If we were playing roulette, we would bet on Howard right now because it's a surefire win. But look at that. The Scion's going to ult. <laughs> He's 
gonna get the Mordekaiser. The Mordekaiser is gonna take them to the Shadow Realm. He's gonna get knocked up. The Mordekaiser is probably not gonna live through this. Oh, the massive damage from the Mordekaiser. This is gonna be able to pick up the kill on the Scion, get that extra passive health and damage from the Scion. And look at that. The Lucia's trying to go and picks up the kill in the Syndra, but the Samir's able to dash in her ult. Oh my god, the massive damage onto the Rel, but looks like this is gonna be that bot tower for the side of Howard here. Carno is gonna have to back off, gain, regain some health. They're gonna take this bot tower. We're gonna be looking at double super minions in all lanes, no matter what here. The Rel's gonna come in. Oh, that's a dead Senna. This is over. Yeah, it's a dead GP, it's a dead Senna. It's probably two dead turrets and a nexus to fall. GG is called. And there we have it, Howard.